The MacBook Pro with Mode is one of the best laptops currently on the market, offering an unbeatable combo of power and endurance. However, with the hyper-focus on a high-end market segment, should you diverge and spend those dollars? To find out the answer, let's watch this video. So, let's get started. DSIGN, from now side, it looks as though not a great deal has changed on the Mo MacBook Pro. While we're still waiting a 16-inch version, there hasn't been a bump up to 14 inches for the small model just yet. As such, it looks just like the 13-inch MacBook Pro Mo has looked for years, with silver and space gray color options, with the Apple logo on the lid and the branding on the bezel. Above the keyboard is the controversial touch bar, with the OLED strip giving way to a power slash touch ID button for fingerprint security. Performance and Theta re -S. This is where the MacBook Pro Mo starts to earn its stripes and its price tag. That Mo chip takes multiple individual components and combines them into one single chip. Not only does that cut down on the constant ferrying of data between pieces of the laptop, but incorporates the CPU, GPU, Neural Engine, I/O, and plenty more. It's hard to put into context what a jump it is with Apple suggesting a 2.8x faster processing performance something that feels apparent when zipping through macOS or opening apps. Graphics and gameplay, in our testing, importing fairly large images, or editing and exporting Photoshop projects with a few dozen layers, the Mo MacBook Pro didn't skip a beat. If you're used to a little stuttering and lag when selecting multiple objects on an Intel machine, those issues are gone. The MacBook Pro is powerful enough to play mainstream games at fairly high frame rates. For example, on Civilization VI, Gathering Storm, the MacBook Pro hit 38 FPS, which is more than double the ZenBook 13. Battery life, the MacBook Pro Mo lasted an amazing 16 hours and 25 minutes in our battery test, while the Intel-based MacBook Pro 2020 lasted 10, 21, so that's a huge 6-hour difference. MacBook Pro Mo Review Webcam I'm not about to give Apple a pass for continuing to sell the MacBook Pro with a 720 type webcam in 2020. I think we can handle Full HD at this point. But I do give Apple credit for improving the image quality and reducing the noise, thanks to the image signal processing delivered by the Mo chip. Keyboard, touch touchpad and touch bar. As someone who is still tolling away on a butterfly keyboard, I'm jealous of the new MacBook Pro Mo's magic keyboard. It's not that I'm much faster on this layout. I got 72 WPM on the TempestFigures.com typing test, which is within my usual range, but made fewer errors than usual. MacBook Pro Mo review. Speakers, the stereo speakers on the MacBook Pro Mo have the same great kick and wide sound feel that they had before. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.